So I'm in the Kyoto Station, um, which is right next to Kyoto Tower. We had a bus from here, the 50 or the 101, to Kitanote Mangu. So yeah, I hardly ever get a bus, but today I've got a bus pass and a subway pass, so I can go anywhere I want in the city for 900 yen. Save that money. So I'm at the front of Kitano Tenmangu Shrine at the first gate. So I've gone through a few Tori gates to get here. So this, that's why you know it's a shrine. And um, here, uh, Sugawara no Michizane is the first person who became a deity. Okay, so they built this to appease his angry and vengeful spirit. So the story goes that he was um, a scholar and a poet and a politician in the Heian period after the Emperor Uda was abdicated. So he was really in with Uda. But then afterwards, Emperor Daigo became the emperor and the Fujiwara clan had words of him and they made him get demoted and sent to Kyushu. Then after he died, his ventral spirit apparently made sure that the emperor's children died. Uh, all the people that conspired against him died. Um, lightning struck and killed some people that accused him too. And yeah, so they built this to appease him and it didn't work. But in 987, 987, yes, a long time ago, over a thousand years ago, they then made him into a god, the Tenjin. And all the stuff stops, all the plagues, droughts, and death stops. Yeah, so, and also they've got nice and beautiful plum, plum trees here as well. So I like to check out the history of a place as well and not just see the architecture. So I thought I'd try and let you know a bit about that. So yeah, let's go and check out inside. So I also read somewhere that Sugawara no Michizane was born on the day of the ox and in the year of the ox. Also, I was born in the year of the ox and the month of the ox was Taurus, obviously. And I'll be 36 this year, so yeah. So one legend has it that when he was body was being carried, um, the ox refused to move and just lay down at one spot and that's where he was buried. So that's in, uh, yeah, Dazaifu in Kyushu. So yeah, that is the garden part of it behind me. Obviously I'm not in it. Um, but you can smell the plum. It smells nice, it smells really good. And I love umeshu and plum juice, so. Yeah, I feel like I might be having some plum wine this evening. Okay, if you notice, there is a plum tree and a pine tree in this uh, shrine. Usually there are pine trees and shrines anyhow, but when uh, Sudagawa no Michizane died and was buried in Kyushu, a plum tree from Kyoto somehow managed to sprout itself in the temple or the shrine where he is laid to rest. Also, Tenjin is like a god of literature, not literature, god of education, academic. So pe many people come here to pray before they for their exams as well. So if you want to pass your exams, you come here. And obviously you have to study too. Study! You want to pass. There's a shop across the road. Get off! There's a shop across the road and it's got some snacks. This. Yeah, I got the wrong shop. It's this one that's behind me. So Awamochi, I think. So I'm gonna grab some, take some home and let my wife have some. So you can have some, wife. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't expecting it, but when I got in there, they um, they made it in front of me and it's like, it was a three-man show, a two men and a woman show. And it, <laughs> it was cool. I wish I filmed it, but I was too late. But yeah, it was cool. Definitely try to get some awamochi. Thank you. 
So I'm falling more and more in love with Kyoto every day. Um, I'm on my way home now. Just gonna take a random bus to closer towards home. Then go home. That's it. So it was great. I like the shrine, especially the courtyard, the main courtyard with the plum tree and the, and the, and the pine tree. Same time. Obviously, if you go there, you need to go when the the plum tree is in full bloom, which is now. So uh, it's perfect timing. on it when I come home. She cheat. Yeah boy. So what's good, just got back. Well I got back a little while ago, just made dinner and um yeah, chilling. But um yeah it was a great time out. Obviously the rest of the day I'm gonna do the same thing, pick up the kids, do some work, got lessons this evening, make food or made food already and eat dinner, blah blah blah. But yeah it was great and I stopped off at um, Kamagawa and I realised this is such a wonderful place. I'm happy to live here. So cool. I like lights up my life. Hey. Alright, peace. Femi smiles out!